In this video, I'm going to show you how you can spy on your competitors to basically get more links and get some really good keyword ideas. So this should help you boost your traffic, beat them in search results, and just um, help give you, you know, a step forward when it comes to doing these things. Now, um, in this example, I'm going to use pinchofyum.com. So if you're a food blogger, this might be a site you would go look at. Now. How do you work out what sites to analyze in this way? Well, what I like to do is, um, there's sort of two ways about this. The first way I do it is if I notice from, you know, checking my own search rankings, you know, if you do this enough, you'll notice sites where you rank quite similar to, where they write about similar things and you kind of learn what your main competitors are in, um, in the SEO space and they're good ones to come and do this too. But actually the ones I like the best are those sites that are seen as like really big in your niche, but they don't really work on their SEO at all. Or, you know, they just do that one main keyword. Um, they don't really put any real effort in. So even though they have quite high authority, which is why I look at those more popular ones, usually they're more likely to be mentioned in newspapers and stuff and they tend to have a high domain authority. Um, so even though they have a high authority, um, I find if I put effort into the SEO for a post like into my keywords, I can beat them because they haven't done a very good job. But because of their high authority, they still rank for quite a lot. So there's a lot of different keywords you can find that you can possibly go beat um, just because, you know, you know what you're doing with SEO and you can do a better job. So yeah, definitely when I was writing in travel, I would go look at those sites that everybody kind of knows. I don't want to say <laughs> in case they listen. Um, but there was definitely ones that I they kind of picked on when it came to this process because I just know their SEO wasn't very good and that I could beat them quite easily. Um, and yeah, they did rank for quite a lot just because they were high authority, but it kind of showed me what was a low competition keyword. Um, so they're the sites to go look at. And they, like I said, in this example, I'm using Pinch of Yum. So it's a famous food blog. Um, to do this step, this is where you look at all their backlinks that Key Search is aware of. Uh, now, and none of these things are foolproof. There's no way to get a complete list of backlinks that Google can see. Like no one can ever see what Google can see. So, um, but you know, it'll be a good approximation and good enough for these sort of activities. So you get to this just by clicking on link analysis. It's the backlink checker. So I put it in there. Note that this can take quite a while to run because it's going to get a lot of data, but you know, you'll get there eventually. So um, you've got a whole lot of information like this, which isn't really particularly important. Um, but these links are what you want. So I would export them. You can export to CSV and look at them in a spreadsheet. And then you have the fun task of going through them all. Um, and what you're looking for is links that you can replicate. Because there's a good chance if someone linked, you know, you're obviously looking at competitors here that are in, a, in the same niche. If someone linked to them, they might link to you. So this is a great way to find guest posting opportunities. You know, if those people guest posted, you know, probably you can as well. Um, or if they're in a collab, maybe they would include you in a collab. You know, you can reach out and ask them. Um, you know, you've got ones like this, of course, like YouTube. You know, YouTube, you probably thought of just creating an account to get a link. Um, but maybe there'll be ones like that where you haven't thought of it, that you could go do that. Uh, it's also a, like probably the best way to go find follow comment links is to do this process because uh, what you can do is, uh, for one, you can see if they follow or no follow here, but you'll, no you'll notice when you look at someone um, what anchor text they tend to use for their comments. So, you know, sometimes people use their, their name, you know, so maybe be Lindsay or whatever, um, and you can kind of filter on whatever anchor text they tend to use for their comments and see if you can find some follow comment links that way. Uh, but really, it's just going through them one by one. You know, it can be slightly painful, but it can also be really effective. And I'd be surprised if you looked at a big site that you couldn't find some links that you could replicate. Now, the other way is to go to this keyword research tab. And what you want to do is get all of their keywords. So to do this, like it's the keyword research tab, you put their URL. Um, and in this one, usually you'd have keyword planner. You know, you go to competitors keywords. Now for location, this depends. If you're a global website and you're trying to sort of rank everywhere, it's non-advisable as that is in some ways. You can put all locations here. If you're just focused on one region, then change the country. 
Now, you don't care at all about what comes back in this top 10 because that's just what comes back if someone Googles, you know, their URL. Like, you know, you don't want to rank for that. What's the point? Um, but this is what you want over here. So to bring you back a whole lot of keywords that they rank for and where they rank, um, the volume, CPC, and you can look at the scores if you want. Um, so this can be really good, right? You can see a whole lot of article ideas. If this was a site that you felt confident you could beat by writing on the same topics, you know, you would just have so many. Um, you know, you can sort it by any of these things. Again, it can be a good idea to export it to CSV and have a really good look, but you can sort it by the rank. Um, you know, you can filter, can be really handy. You know, if I was doing this um, and wanting affiliate article ideas with good buying keywords, so articles about products or reviews, you know, I would filter by review or best um, and see what they ranked for to try and get some good terms that would work with affiliate marketing. And if, if you don't quite understand what I'm talking about there, um, I'm actually going to do a live training on that coming up soon. So keep a look out. Um, but yeah, that's how you can get some really powerful keywords as well. But anyway, you can go through and look at each of these and, um, you know, just get some ideas about what might work for you. So, I mean, let's so say you're like, oh yeah, sweet potato gnocchi. That'd be a great thing for me to write about. I wanted to make it anyway. Um, you know, you can click on that and then look at the top 10 and just sort of see if you think you do have a chance. Like, I mean, that does look very competitive. Um, but you can just keep going through like that to analyze, get ideas, see what you can find, see what you can copy. So I hope this video has been helpful. This is how you can do competitor research in Key Search. Um, you know, find out the links, find out what they rank for, you know, work out how that can help you.